Okay, teachers, today we are going to paint our snowy owl. Not the black lines. We'll do that next week. We'll do the black lines. But today we're going to paint the branch and the owl with those basic colors. So, we usually paint the branch, the owl, the nose, and the eyes all on the same day. We just put layer all these paint colors. And you know, sometimes they mix together and they get real smeary. If you have time and if you have if you want to, you can paint the owl and the branch so it looks like this and let that dry and then go back and do the yellow and the orange for his face. That might make it a little bit neater on your end. So it's up to you however you want to do it. If you want to do it all in one shot, that's what I usually do in class, as you well know. So either way is fine. Let's get started. First step is to paint a brown branch across the bottom of the paper. Try to encourage students to put it down at the bottom. If it's up too high, that just makes your owl smaller. We want our owl to be nice and big and be the focus of our paper. So we're going to give him a branch to stand on. We're going to start at one side of the paper and go all the way to the other side of the paper. And then thicken it up a little bit. Remember, branches are thicker over here where they attach to the tree and then they go out to a point at the end. Now if you would like to make a branch off the branch, do it on the bottom so that it won't get in the way of your owl. So you can make a little branch on the bottom and that's that. Next, we're gonna use white paint. Remember, it's a snowy owl, so he's going to be white. And we're going to paint his body next on the paper. First step, we're going to make a circle for his head. So at the top of the paper, we're going to just paint a circle with our paintbrush, just like that. And then we're going to fill it in. So just fill in that circle. Keep it nice and clean around the edges and cover up all that background. There you go. Next step, we're going to paint his body. We want his body to come all the way down but not touch the branch. We're going to leave a little bit of space down there for his legs. So we're going to come close to the branch but not touch it. So watch. I'm gonna start on one cheek and I'm just gonna come down and around, make a little fat belly down there and then down the other side so that I have a U shape coming down from the head, all right? And then take your paint and fill it all in. Nice and solid so you don't see the background. If we can see the background, that means that our poor little owl has a hole in his body somewhere, and we certainly don't want that. So we're gonna fill him all in with white paint and make sure he has nice, clean edges right there. All right? Next, we're going to give our owl some wings. Now, he's not flying. He's just sitting on the branch, maybe looking for some dinner. So we're going to come down from his shoulders and make a little loop and bring it back up. So I just have one little wing on one side, and then I'll come down from his shoulder here, and one little wing on that side. That's all you need. And finally, the last step with the white paint is we're going to give our owl some little ears. So very tiny on the top of his head, just make one little mark. And then over on the other side, just make another little mark. Little tiny places where the feathers poke up for his ears. So teachers, this may be the spot time where you want to just stop and let it dry and then go on and do the eyes and the beak or you can just do them on top of this wet white paint, however it works for you, all right?
Okay, so we're going to make eyes on our owl. We're going to use yellow paint and a smaller brush, a much smaller brush. This way we can control it a lot more on these details. Up near the, his head, we're going to make two circles for eyes and then fill them in the center. One circle, two circles for eyes, and then fill them in on the center, okay? We want to make them nice and big because owls have really big eyes so that they can see at night. They're nocturnal. Make the eyes on the head. Don't make your eyes out here in the background. That doesn't make sense. The eyes need to be on his head. So make two circles on the head for eyes. So on this next step, we're going to use a triangle for our owl's beak. All right. Usually when we draw a triangle, it has a point at the top and a flat bottom with three sides and three points. But you'll notice that this triangle is upside down. So when we paint it, we're gonna start with the flat part first. We'll put a dot at the bottom to help us. And then we'll draw down to the dot on one side, stop, and then down to the dot on the other side, and stop. So you get that same triangle, but it's just upside down. And then finally for this week, I'm going to use orange with a small brush again, and I'm going to do the beak. We want to make the beak like an upside down triangle. So we're going to go across the top, nice and flat on the top first, then put a dot down at the bottom right in the middle, down at the bottom, and you can draw one line down to that dot. Look how slow I'm going. And then the other side, slowly down to that dot. So you have an upside down triangle, and then we're just gonna carefully fill in the triangle to make our owl's beak. There we go, okay? So, let this owl dry really good, and then next week all we have to do is use the marker to put the details on, like the feathers, and the legs, and the toes, and all of that stuff. All right? So we're finished for this week. We'll just let it dry like that, and then we'll work on him again next week.